welcome back to Critterland. Well, today we are celebrating Halloween a little bit early because we have the Halloween Night Parade from Japan. This came in the Lavender Rabbits order because I had to make that shipping worthwhile. With shipping on a combined order, they were about $32, which I think is a little high, but I don't think it's excessively high for everything that you get in this set. And I am just so excited about this because of that little Franken pup and the beautiful costumes and the little tiny Halloween buckets and candy. So I just can't wait, and we're going to open this up and take a look. Can't read that. <laughs> And one thing I really love about this and so many other sets is the packaging. I mean, how fun is that? It is so decorated for Halloween. It's got pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. They're even standing on this little platform with lights on it. I mean, how fun is that? They really put a lot of time and attention into the artwork on the box. I just love it. All right, well, I'm going to get them out of here and speed it up a little bit. is cute. At first I didn't like like a permanently costumed figure but I really really like him and I'm very happy. <laughs> and now I've got to get this little ghost out of here along with the witch. Actually this isn't a witch this is a ghost uh, but I don't know why I thought it was a witch because they put out other black cats that were witches so that kind of threw me off. But this cape is really neat. And the dress underneath is just fabulous. It is really beautiful for being covered up, especially. It's surprising. All right, well, let's take the ghost and the accessories out of the package. There's a whole bunch of tape here. It's off now. I don't like having to damage the box that much, but they don't really give you a choice with all that tape. And we'll take this out, and there it is all empty, and it's still super pretty. I'm going to put that in the background. And we'll dump all these out. Now this ghost glows in the dark and underneath you can see that she's got a little like undershirt on. Now let's hold this up to the light here in a little bit and see if it glows. Here are the buckets, oh my gosh! And the handles turn nice and smooth. There's a pumpkin and a ghost. Now this pumpkin does not have a jack-o'-lantern on it, which is a little surprising, but the ghost has a face, so that's really cute. I love these little buckets, and they're the perfect size for the critters. I like the little ghost detail at the very bottom, and all the lollipops. And there's a ghost lollipop, <laughs> and then a moon, and a pumpkin, and a witch's hat. So fun. I love all these lollipops. And we have other candy that we can use for trick-or-treating, too. In fact, I am already planning a very fun Halloween video to release on Halloween Day. It's going to be epic. Oh my gosh, this, this, I keep wanting to call her a witch. This ghost is just gorgeous, and I love how the cape can be Velcroed. Now, taking it off uh, is actually a little challenging. I felt like I had to kind of force it off, but um, it, did, it did come off. And then this dress, I'm not going to take it off, uh, but it is kind of like, looks like a romper underneath. But it's elastic, so you just pull it down. Um, but I love this satiny look, and then the little kind of like, uh, what's that called, uh, mesh, but that, that top layer with the gold trim at the bottom. I mean, it's just lovely. It is so pretty. And I love how you have that contrast with the white and black. And this cape is really neat. I like the little uh, brooch or button there in the middle. It's not really fitting on that chair. I'm going to put it over here, and it stands up on its own. And this is a witch. And oh my gosh, how pretty. I love that color just gorgeous. I mean, for a baby, I mean, this is a super intricate little outfit. Now, this is all one piece. The shawl does not come off separately. There is no Velcro or elastic. I don't, I don't, actually, there is elastic at the top um, and, and at the waist there. So I guess I would have to pull it all the way off. And then that hat is on real snug. I mean, it is on there tight. So I'm not going to attempt to take it off but very beautiful. I love this little witch costume. Yeah, see, you can see there that elastic. So I, you would, I think, just 
pull it down over her arms and take her uh, take her out um, from the top up. And then here is the little elephant with the super cute little pumpkin outfit. And I love how poofy it is. They designed it well, so it actually poofs like a pumpkin. This is also elastic on both ends. There's no snap or Velcro. So that gives it a nice clean look. And he looks like just a really cute little pumpkin elephant. <laughs> so chubby. We'll put him back and let's take a look at our Frankenstein puppy. Oh my gosh. So I was mixed on him being green because, you know, he's going to always be in this costume or this, you know, had that thing on his head. But I really like it. I think it's a really cute idea. And I think his outfit is super cute too. It kind of looks like something we'd wear in the 80s, <laughs> like the colors and the corduroy and stuff. So it's cute on its own. And it would be cute on another critter. Uh, and this is a really uh, fun little costume with the fraying, a little tattered cloak uh, for our little Franken pup. So he's going to have fun going trick-or-treating too. And here is the whole gang. And now let's try out this ghost. So I'm going to hold this up to the light and see how much uh, glow in the dark I can get it to attract. And this is a really beautiful little silk cat. And I like that they put something underneath her. Because with the other ghost, with, like the, with the plastic costume that uh, you get with like the baby costume series, didn't have anything on. All right, so I'm going to turn the lights out and try it out. I had to take a photo. You can see it's, it glows pretty well. Uh, it didn't show up at all in video. So here are the costume babies uh, from the little uh, blind bag series, and they have their little ghost costumes on too. So stay tuned for some really fun upcoming Halloween videos, or at least one video of trick-or-treating. Thanks for watching. See you next time.